today we've been lifting some of the uh, air conditioning equipment required for our hypermarket, uh, Giant Hypermarket opening uh, at Yasmal. A flight plan was quite clear. I mean, we'd, uh, there's a couple of areas we couldn't fly over on Yas Island due to various issues. We're also on the flight path for the main Abu Dhabi International Airport, so air traffic control had to be consulted. And then it was a case of the pilot selecting the best route where he flew over the building with the, the least uh, possible obstruction so he could get to this uh, site behind us. I think the challenge really is just the coordination and again that's where you come down to the experience of the team here from Falcon Aviation and from the support from our construction company. Um, the guys have done these sort of things before and thankfully it all went very well. It was important for us that we chose a company that got experience with this sort of thing. Uh, Falcon Aviation had obviously got lots of experience with these sorts of jobs and uh, we were delighted they were able to help us out on this occasion. Today we were lifting uh, air conditioner condenser units um, that are used in refrigeration. Um, there were five pieces lifted to the roof of the Yasmal. Um, the weights ranged from about 1,600 pounds up to 3,000 pounds. The challenge in it was that 3,000 pounds is right on the limit for our, our helicopter, but uh, we planned it using uh, removing uh, unnecessary parts from the helicopter, seats, the flotation equipment, that kind of stuff, and that we also operated on minimum fuel by staging a fuel trailer down at the, uh, at the condensers. When the construction was going on here, there was cranes everywhere, but as the project came to a close and everything was removed, there was just no other practical way to get up onto the roof and lift these condensers uh, without using the helicopter. There was just no other way. Even with a portable, a mobile crane, they still wouldn't have been able to get close enough to where we needed to place the condensers. That's when it becomes very precise. The pilot basically held the helicopter and the condensers in a hover and he was being given instructions over the radio from the, one of our staff on the roof here. I believe they held it in about a two foot hover for about a minute to two minutes and once it's ready then the pilot is then told to position it in place. This is considered precision uh, vertical reference work so it's the pilot has a, a very very good technique to be able to do this. The really big problem we had today, not that it was a, a major problem, but it was definitely got our attention, was that uh, we're located two miles out on the approach for the uh, one of the runways here at Abu Dhabi International. And uh, while we had worked with um, Abu Dhabi Air Traffic Control for the last two weeks, informing them what we're doing and getting their approvals, um, due to the wind direction and the arriving traffic, we were right there on the approach line. And, we managed to work there. Uh, again, we worked with air traffic control and they were the ones who gave us the, the assistance on this one. And again, if there was anything unsafe at, by anybody's uh, view, we would have stopped the job. Obviously, Aldar are exceptionally proud to be bringing the largest uh, leisure and retail destination in Abu Dhabi to life. And the key thing for, for Yas Mal is really the fact that it's going to unlock Yas Island as a whole. We've already got some great um, developments on Yas Island. We've got hotels, we've got Ferrari World, we've got the water park. We've got the Yas Links Golf Course, great facilities on their own, but what's really going to make them come together and make the whole area take off, we hope, is Yasmal, which will unlock the island as a whole.